fictional universe, it's really important that you know the difference between good guys and bad guys. This is called Some Thoughts on Outlaws. You are watching a Western on TV. John Wayne isn't in it, nor Gary Cooper, nor James Stewart. It is a true story, but the writer has improvised like Hendrix around the Star Spangled Banner. The Wild West seems contemporary, Woodstock with guns and trains. There is brotherly love, a long pursuit, a fresh start, a bleak ending. The outlaws are charismatic, beautiful, ironical, and humorous. The lawmen are cruel, tenacious, inhuman, and they don't say anything funny to each other. They are never seen in close-up, so it is impossible to say if they are pretty, but you think probably not. For a while you are distracted by the sight of men firing rifles from moving horses and hitting their targets. You wonder how this is done. The trick must be to aim well ahead of your intended mark and let the horse catch up. You are trying to relate this geometry to your only experience of riding a horse on a brief pony trek on the Isle of Wight when someone says, are they bad guys? You have some thoughts on anti-heroes in film, in life, and in literature. There are good good guys and bad bad guys, bad good guys and good bad guys. It seems to you that a good good guy is a saint, and therefore at some distance to reality. It follows that a bad good guy would be an idealist turned mean, a person capable of planting a bomb, hijacking an aircraft, committing mass murder while under the influence of extreme virtue. A bad bad guy would be a psychopath, incapable of empathy, capable of every single act that is possible outside the shelter of empathy. Your mind fills with a silence as devastating as the distance between stars. A good bad guy would seem to be the better character, a person who doesn't conform, a rebel, a maverick, a real motherfucker, yet containing within himself an innate sense of honor. They're bad good guys, you say. They are anti-heroes. And a beautiful anti-hero is something to be. They also have a woman companion whom they share, although she seems really cool about it. She will stitch their wounds, sew their clothes, but not watch them die. That is for you to do. You are the only witness. And when the film ends, you will be the only person guilty of what you have witnessed. This is because you overthink. But to answer the question to a child's satisfaction, all outlaws are human, and some outlaws are more human than human. But these outlaws, they're Robert Redford and Paul Newman.